Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's doing good today. It's, it's a nice day here on the hill in uh, Iola, Texas. We're out here, everybody's got stuff going. Buzz is mowing, my niece, I think she's out there mowing, and I'm in the kitchen, as always, y'all. But we're bringing that garden in, that stuff's starting to come in. And uh, we are gonna be busy, busy. Buzz going to have to come in here and help me do some of this stuff now. I told him, I said, I ain't doing all that this year now. Well, you know, it ain't, it's not Armageddon yet. Well, you know, it's just me and you. We ain't feeding all them youngins no more. So, anyway, he's planted a pretty big garden this year. So, we, uh, gonna have some stuff to do. I'll show y'all some of it that's already coming in. I mean, this is just picking this morning. I took and made, I canned a little old jar of, uh, pepper rings from these banana peppers and there's little jalapenos and stuff coming on. This is a dish I'm fixing to show y'all in a minute what I'm working on. Of course, squash out the kazoo and cucumbers are coming on and now the bell peppers are coming on, y'all. These are the smaller ones, but I, uh, when we start getting the bigger ones, that's when I want to show y'all how we do our stuffed peppers and all. Look, there's the dessert I just made on. That's those chocolate coconut bars, y'all. I'm letting them cool before I finish that video but anyway a few cu uh, cucumbers coming in so of course everybody's picking on me about my potatoes laying in the floor <laughs> we working on them though hey this keeps them nice and cool and happy i can stand it for long enough for them to you know we get a good eating out of them and the family gets to enjoy them and everything so why not anyway it works for us y'all it's country life but yeah the garden's starting to kick in so any old who I'm fixing, I got, I'm canning over here. I got some green beans, some jars with some green beans and potatoes and onions uh, cooking in that. So, anyway. Anyway, I'm fixing, let me see if I can get that up there. There we go. I'm fixing to get this bowl of mixed veggies over here I'm working on. This is one. Another one of Buzz's very, very favorite vegetable dishes that he does let me plug this cord in y'all sorry bad for photography stuff what a video or <laughs> anyway uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut all this stuff up and we're gonna cook this in a skillet we're gonna saute all this stuff together y'all okay and um then i'm going to put on it i have me a can of rotel tomatoes that I'm gonna put on there in that skillet. And I'm also going to add at the very last, a big thing of cheddar cheese goes on the top of it. So y'all kind of keep that in mind how this is coming together. But it's a big old skillet of stir fried. It's got yellow squash. I'm gonna cut all these up. It's got zucchini. It has bell pepper. It has onion. And however many jalapenos you wanna put in there. Because, believe you me, it's a it's a spicy skillet with a... And then you do the Rotel tomatoes. If you don't have Rotel, just the stewed tomatoes work. And it's just... The only reason I'm doing those right now really is because the tomatoes aren't in yet. So, you can do your fresh garden tomatoes in there. And we do that when uh, we start having a pile of tomatoes coming in. Just cut them up, skin and all in there. Just... Wash them and cut them all up in that skillet and let them cook down in there with all the rest of it. And then just follow procedure. So, I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to cut all these vegetables up. And I will show you how they look when I finish getting them all cut up and ready for the skillet. And then we'll take it from there. Okay? Okay, y'all. I got most of them cut up already. Because I didn't want you to have to sit there and watch the whole thing. But I did want you to see, you know... One of the things to me that's kind of important about how you do these, okay? So see, like I cut this zucchini. I just took it and cut him, stood him up on his end. I cut him in half. And so there's my, my half of my zucchini, right? And when you take it and cut it, you need to cut it in some big half moon slices, more or less like this, see? Because they're going to cook down in there. When you start cooking that whole big old skillet of them, you know, you want them to... Uh, you want you some half moon pieces in there on your squashes, okay? And it's the same thing with your yellow squash. I'm doing the same thing there, y'all. See, I'm just kind of cutting them in these, you know, bigger 
half moon, I'm calling it, slices. All right? And now like your bell pepper, okay? I, like I've got him all, you know, I've got this piece here, I'm doing like this. What I'm doing is just taking it and going down through there like this, cutting it like that, and then I'm just gonna take it and turn it and I'll just cut it in half a little bit and maybe that in half. It doesn't have to be precise, but you want big, big bites in there kind of sort of, okay? Now, like my onion, I'm gonna do the same thing on him. I want some, you want bites because it's gonna cook down, but you still uh, end up having texture in there, okay? So I just cut it in half. I'm gonna cut that in half, and then I'm just gonna come down through here and do it about, about like that, okay? See it? Because that's gonna come all apart, so I'm just gonna take that half, cut it in half, Maybe do that like in thirds, you know, and that gives you a good enough bite by the time it all separates out. And on the little jalapenos now, y'all, that depends on how many you want in there and how hot your jalapenos are. I mean, that's a preference there, right? But when I cut them up for buzzing, I just cut the tip off, and then I just cut them in half like this, right? And then I'm just going to go just like that, and there's my jalapeno bites. I, we don't take the seeds out, nothing, okay? That's what I have ready now to go in there. I have three of my yellow squash. I should have said something to you about the squash now. I like for Buzz to pick our squash young, y'all, because I don't like them big old seeds in there. If you get one that's got the big seeds in it, you can take your knife and just kind of gut it out a little bit and get them big seeds out of there. But when they're picked small and nice like this, the seeds are no problem in there. You don't have big old seed bites in your mouth. And they're much better, and they're more tender and everything. The skin on them is more tender. So you don't have to peel none of this. You don't peel your, you don't peel your zucchini. You don't peel your yellow squash. Uh, you know, I don't de-seed the jalapenos. Uh, I take the guts out of the um, bell peppers. And then, of course, you know, I mean, you're gonna peel your onion, but I just cut him up like that, like I was showing you and stuff. But you just take it, and you've got this ready. This is ready for your skillet. And I will show y'all what we do after I get it all set up and ready and show you how we do it in our skillet. And then that's when we're going to add our can of Rotel's. This is an off-brand, but nonetheless, it's Rotel tomatoes. And uh, then at the very last, we're going to put our cheddar cheese on top of that. So that's where we're gonna go with it. But anyway, you chop you up and y'all see what size bowl I got here, you know. This is a regular size colander. And because like I say, again, it's gonna cook down. It cooks down. So anyway, it does make a delicious side dish. And I think y'all will really like it if you love the fresh, fresh, fresh thing going on. That's what you're gonna get from this dish. Very tasty. All right, y'all, I'm getting my skillet ready. I um, wanted to show you this. See, I got a skillet with some bacon, little bacon giblets and, and bacon grease left in it from the other evening when I cooked some up, uh, up some of those bacon bites. So I just left it in this skillet. I knew I was going to be using this like very shortly. And I was like, tonight's the night, y'all. I'm going to use this bacon grease uh, for my vegetables, okay? I normally don't do the, don't have it. But if, uh, like this, anyway, just ready and available like that. So anyway, normally, you know, if you don't have any bacon grease, what I'm trying to say, I'll spit it out in a minute, y'all. Um, I just use butter. So I just put me a big old blob of butter in there and get it melting and do what I'm fixing to do right now, okay? So the thing is, and I'm talking about a big blob of butter, y'all, because this makes a big skillet of it. This, uh, let me see if I got it up there. Okay, this makes a big skillet of it right here, right? So I'm going to go ahead, and I just got me just a hunk of butter. And I'm just going to add it to my bacon grease here. I'm already getting it hot. Turn that fire down just a little bit. Because you're not trying to, like, uh, brown this stuff like or anything. You are just... It ends up kind of steaming it because there's so many in, in the skillet. And see, that made a lot of butter in there to go with my bacon grease, so that's going to be delicious. That's just something I'm just doing with it. If you got you some bacon grease and little giblets in there or whatever, add them. They'll be good. But otherwise, just use your big old blob of butter, okay? 
All right, get that water off of them. See, it makes a big old skillet of it. This will cook down though where I can manage it a little better in there. But right now, I'm gonna do this. Hold on, let me get my rag. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead, y'all, and put my, let me get my pepper out of here. Where is it? Oh. And I want a little bit of garlic powder. I should have had that stuff out. Here I go with my awesome videoing techniques. <laughs> I hope y'all can see it. Okay, I'm going to add me some black pepper in here. Regular old black pepper. Okay. Of course, this is that bigger grind that I like. It's not the huge grind, but it's the, what's that say? Number 30 coarse black pepper. So whatever that is. The coarse black pepper, okay? There's some black pepper in there. Add me a little garlic powder. And do me some powder. It's good on them. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add me some salt in here. For the moment. So, y'all, this part of it, you just kind of, you're going to do that to taste, okay? All right. There's our salt and our garlic powder and our black pepper. We're going to let this just kind of cook down. Almost, almost all the way, y'all. I've got my fire. I'm going to turn it back up on high now. Um, you want to cook it almost all the way before you add your tomatoes in there but we're gonna you know I'll show you along the way and, and it doesn't really matter but I just think it just does better if you wait and let these veggies cook down a little bit and then add your tomatoes okay so just hold off on putting your tomatoes in there till your veggies have kind of you know cooked down just a little bit and started doing their thing but see that's all of them together it already it's already beautiful isn't it Y'all, we call, I don't think I mentioned this, that it's a, a, we call it the, it's cheddar pepper squash. That's what we call it, cheddar pepper squash, okay? Because it's got three peppers in it. It's got jalapeno, bell, and green chili. And now, y'all, if I had one, I love to do this. I would add an extra one to it. Those little cans, the little bitty cans of the uh, chopped green chilies. Dump you one of those in there when you do your uh, tomatoes. Because, you know, your Rotels have the green chilies in there already. But I like to add some extra green chilies. I just love the flavor of that. Anyway, if you want to, you can add you a little extra one of them little cans of green chilies in there when you do your tomato thing. But anyway, it's uh, the peppers. It's got bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, and green chili pepper. And then it's your, you got two squashes. Yellow squash, zucchini squash. And then your other two ingredients are your tomatoes and your onions. So, as far as your vegetables. the And then the very last thing we'll do is put our cheddar cheese on there. But, for now, we're just going to let it sit here and do its thing, y'all. Walk over here every now and then. Because there's already creating water. That squash is going to create a water in there. Which is delicious when that cheese all melts down in there, in it? Um... But we're just going to let it cook. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a lid and put over it. And that helps tremendously to uh, get you a lid and put on it. Okay? I'll do my lid, cover it, and I'll walk away from it. Walk back by periodically and just kind of check on it. I've got my, heat, my uh, fire on medium now. Okay? So we'll get it to that point and then we'll put the tomatoes in in just a little bit. Okay, I just took the lid off of it, and you can see that it's uh, starting to cook down a little bit. I'm going to have our nice big chunks in there, good bites. Y'all, it smells wonderful. You smell all these peppers and onions and your squash all cooking in there with the bacon and butter. 
salt, pepper, garlic, cheddar pepper squash, y'all. It's some good stuff. We've been eating this for a long time. It's something we eat every year. It's one of our first squash dishes we like to make. Uh, one of our first squash dishes that we like to make. There's a number of them that we love because we do love our squash. But most of the time we eat fried squash first rattle off the bat. Then this is the second one we make. Okay, y'all, this stuff, look, I can, it's getting where I can cut it, okay? I can cut through it. So it is getting close to being done. So now I'm fixing to add my can, juice and all, of my Rotel tomatoes. These are the diced ones. It don't matter which ones you get on that. Okay. Now we're going to stir these in. Stir them around good. And then we're going to put the lid right back on it. And let this finish cooking down for about, I don't know, y'all, five to ten more minutes tops, okay? There we go. Can you, see? yep, you can see it. Okay, all right. I'm going to do that, and I'm gonna, while that's cooking, I'm going to get over here and get my cheddar cheese grated up. And you can put as, however much cheese you want on there. But we like to do a pretty good bit because it melts and goes down in there, right? Okay. There it is. I'm going to turn my fire down now, low, while I'm doing my other stuff, and I'll get my cheese grated and be back. All righty, y'all. We are ready. That wasn't but about, that wasn't even ten minutes. For sure. That was five or six minutes. Now see, I wonder if I need to get y'all up closer on that. I think you can see that. Let me show you. Let's see here. See how it's, see it's all steamed and stuff, but it's still together where you get good bites of it. It's, uh, you know, it's in between. It's not all cooked down, but it's but it's cooked down. Y'all, I don't know the word I'm trying to think of to tell you. But it, it stays together, okay? So now, we've got all that. I have an 8-ounce block of cheddar cheese grated up here. And I'm going to just take it and start crumbling it over the top, y'all. And I tell you what, you can't, uh, to me, you can't hardly put too much cheese, too much cheddar cheese in here. As I throw half of it on the floor, tally fay mess, right? Okay. This will be good on it, though. It's one of those half-pound blocks of cheddar cheese. All right. I'm turning my fire off, putting my lid on it, and going to let it sit there. And I will show you all the finished results here in just a little bit after that cheese melts. And you see how it does and everything with it. It's good stuff, y'all. Cheddar pepper squash. All right, y'all. I got her ready. I want y'all to see the beautiful product. It turns out, look at that. Look at all that cheese on there. I'm going to take the phone down so y'all can see it. Let me do this. I want y'all to see it up close. How good it looks. How am I going to do that? Okay, look. Now look at that. Look at how those vegetables do. See, and I just take it up and put it in a little bowl there like this. See, now look. See, there's plenty of juice down in there. And, oh, that juice, y'all, is delicious on there. Go and get you some of that. Look. Uh-huh. What you talking about? <laughs> Cheddar pepper squash, y'all. It's some good stuff. I ain't just telling you that. Oh, y'all, look. I got uh, through with my green bean and potato cannon. Look how pretty those are in the jar. Isn't that pretty? I got big old wide mouth quart jars. I got onions. See the onion in there? And then some potatoes and the green beans. Isn't that pretty? So I got four quarts of those to start with this morning. So that's, that's a good start on them. I like that. That'll work out. But anyway, I wanted y'all to see how to do this cheddar pepper squash, y'all. It's a great way to use up 
so many of your vegetables in your garden, all your squashes and peppers and onions and, I mean, everything goes in there. And like I say, you know, if your tomatoes and stuff are coming in, they go great in it. So, y'all give it a try and uh, let me know what you think. Y'all make you a skillet of it. I want to know. Let me know how y'all think it turned out and see if y'all like it, okay? Cheddar pepper squash, y'all. Give it a try. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later on, okay? In the kitchen with Tally Faye.